Well, hi, everybody. This is Lisa from Lisa Abbey's Needleworks, and I thought I would just give you a little tour of my craft room downstairs. Um, so here we go. My hallway is really dark. My stairway, I guess. But I finally got some um, quilts hung up. I had been waiting to do this project to hang the quilts up because um, my walls have had like imperfections from washers and dryers going up and down the steps. You know the drill. So anyhow, I, uh, I put it off because I was going to paint that wall. <laughs> okay, so the wall's never going to get painted, um, at least not anytime soon. And all my quilts have just been in a pile, so I decided, here we go. So the other day, I uh, started hanging stuff up at about 11 o'clock at night to my husband's probably disappointment, but he can sleep through on almost anything. So, um, And they're basically in a spot that covers a hole, so... I thought that was a good, pretty good plan. So, um, this is my first foray back into cross stitch. Love how it turned out. But anyway, so that got all of those quilts out of a pile and up on the wall where I can enjoy them. And our house is a construction zone, so you'll see piles of junk just about everywhere. But it's funny, I don't even see it anymore. <laughs> until I do something like this, and it's like, oh, shucks, there's a whole pile of wood and pipe there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pan around here in just a second and look at the wool. Okay, so as you go around the corner here, this is basically my laundry area, which, and my light is flickering, so it's probably about to burn out. But anyhow, um, I just decided to hang up a few quilts that I don't even put out anymore. But I hung up a couple rugs, kind of organized my wool a little bit better. And then underneath there in the basket, I have my frame kind of hanging out. Okay, and then to kind of disguise my electrical panel back there, I tried to hang up a few quilts. Um, the one on the ladder there is one that my mom made for me. Super cute. And then the Flying Goose quilt um, is one of my first ones that I made. And I've kind of taken it out of use because it's starting to show some wear. Um, this is one of my kind of Christmassy kind of quilts that I hang up. and But I didn't want it to just be in a pile, so I've got it out and about. Um, this is a basket quilt that I made a while ago. And like I said, it doesn't come out into circulation very much because I usually put something newer out. So I've got a little wool applique piece. And then this was a, a sewing machine that I had in my dining room for the longest time. Well, now we don't have room for it, so it hangs out in my sewing room. And then we'll just kind of pan around. This um, is my stampin' area. And when my mom moved in with us, we kind of combined our craft items. So some of those are her stamps and some of mine. This first table set up is um, where all her stuff is located. And then mine is at this other chair here at the other end of the table. My hope was that we could um, craft together, but... She doesn't really feel like crafting too much anymore, so I got these little um, lantern lights at the thrift store, so my husband helped me hang up this twig, and um, it'll look much better once the um, lights burn out and I can put a black, I mean a brown string of lights in there, but anyway, it's cute, just to kind of give a little ambiance to my little room. My little fabric quilt. And then on this table here, I just tried to um, put a few things out so that if somebody came to sew with me, they could um, borrow some of my stuff. So I have some scissors. 
that little um, box, I'm going to put um, some cross stitch on the top. I got it at the thrift store for like 25 cents. So I just put some pins in there. And then it's going to probably get kind of dark on this side. I don't have a whole lot of great lighting over here. Um, this is one of my first quilts that I made, an album quilt. And um, the binding is starting to show some wear, so I've um, taken it out of circulation too. But I wanted to see it. So now up here, I still have some quilts to hang up. In fact, one is just kind of chilling there. That's the back of it. <laughs> that was one my mom made for me. So the plan is to um, hang some. I have three other ones to go back there. And then this is a table that I can pile high with projects. And then there's a couple other things there. And then this is some of my husband's collectible phone stuff. So it's just kind of hanging out there. Then this area is where I store my fabric stash. Um, the thrift store that I I go to quite frequently is wonderful um, source for fabric, and um, like one yard of fabric is a dollar. <laughs> so recently they have upped it to two dollars a yard now, but they don't offer as much as they had in the past. So anyway, I'm a fabric. Quarter, so I'm actually going to try to do a project bag so I have it cut out and I bought the um, zipper at the thrift store for 25 cents so we'll see if I can get that done one of my quilts I just love half square triangles so pretty and then just a few projects that I have I had them in a pile and I thought, okay, we need to get this done. So I tried to put them out to where I could see them. These are one of the buttermilk basin, a um, couple of buttermilk basin patterns. And so then this is my sewing machine. And I found this little uh, egg at the thrift store and the top was broken off of it. So I just hurried and covered something for a pin keep and that's where I hold my pins well, my friend from work Kaylee and then this is basically the area that I do most of my work on I have my tablet set up there and um, a little bit more fabric there and a little bit more fabric up there so, I have my cutting mat here on this table, and then if I need to press something, I can just move it aside. And then I have my rotary cutters and my cutting mats and some of my rulers hung up there. Kind of give you a little bit of a closer view of some of my rubber stamping area so the fabric kind of ends there and then I have some punches and then some of the stuff that I use quite frequently I put in this little um, shucks I can't think of what that thing's called a print shelf or a print drawer or something like that and then I keep my paper in this container and then underneath on the second drawer is where I keep my envelopes and then punches are in the bottom. This area didn't get too uh, much of a cleaning. I just tried to put away some of the piles of things. I don't know how I end up with so many piles all the time, but <laughs> I do because I'm not a very good organizer or cleaner, but... Anyhow, I thought I would give you a little bit of a view of this. And um, there's Sarah. Hey, Sarah. What do you, you want to say hi? Say hi, Sarah. Yeah, what a baby. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed my little overview of my craft room. The other side of my basement, oh, there's Molly. Say hi, Ma. Um, the other side of my basement has more of my crafts. Um, I'm kind of a multi crafter and so I like to do floral arrangements and so I have all my stuff over there. I have my handy quilter over there and painting stuff. So but it's not organized, especially since I tried to clean up this area. <laughs> that area is even worse. But hey it's progressive, right? Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope I didn't make you too dizzy and I hope my raspy voice isn't too annoying. But I hope you have fun stitching and we'll see you next time.